A flat belly and tightly toned abdominals are sure to be the highlight of your body so it is not surprising that everyone is hot on the trail of any program that promises to show them how to get flat abs. Your abdominal area is frequently the center of attention simply due to the styles of clothing that you might choose to wear. Guys like to wear tight t-shirts and go topless when at the beach, and gals love to strut the shore in a dynamite bikini. Even a gym workout is a fashion show today and you can't work those tight-fitting exercise outfits if you don't have the flat belly and tone shape to match. How to get flat abs is actually a lot easier than you might think. You will have to learn the right kinds of exercises to do, and it is really important to know the form that you need if you want to maximize the results. This isn't all that you have to do though. You also are going to have to strip away that unsightly fat if you want anyone to be able to see those six-pack abs you have developed. There are three main classifications of exercise routines that you need to learn if you are serious about having a killer body and a flat belly. Leg raises and reverse crunches. Trunk twists and side bends. Abdominal crunches. You need to know that although you can try to put more stress and emphasis on one portion of your abs it is not possible for you to work the lower abs without working the upper abs and vice versa. This is because of the way these muscles are designed. When you begin to read about all of the different types of abdominal exercises you might notice that it seems some target the obliques or the lower or upper ab areas, but you will still be, to some degree, working all of these muscles at the same time. When you do normal ab crunches you are focusing the intensity of the exercises on the upper abdominal area. This means that you must pay attention and make sure that your lower back is stationary and not moving because if you move your lower back it means that you are lessening the work on your abs and letting your stronger flexor muscles in the hips to the job. If you perform proper abdominal crunches for a flat belly it means that you will pull your chest area down toward your hips using only the abdominal muscles. Exercises such as reverse crunches or intense leg raises change the target to your lower abdominals. This is the area of most concern to women because these muscles can weaken easily and it takes a lot of effort to make them shape up. These muscles also have a more limited range than many other large muscle groups which means that you have to work it to make those muscles burn and contract enough to improve. Therefore you need to toss out that idea that a flat belly is an easy process, because you have to exert effort to see some results. When you practice side bends or waist twisting motions you are making your oblique muscles do the work. There are both internal and external obliques and these are the muscles that help whittle the waistline to give you that well-chiseled appearance that complements the flat belly look. To get the flat belly and shapely waist that commands attention you should begin working your abs on a regular basis. Unlike most workout routines you can perform abdominal exercises every day. A daily abdominal workout will help you get the best results in a shorter period of time. One final bit of advice to heed is that while it is technically impossible to overwork your abdominal area, if you perform 3 to 4 sets of 25 reps of any abdominal exercise that should be more than enough to give you the flat belly of your dreams. Check out the description of the video below to get an awesome weight loss program. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share with your friends. Comments are welcome too.